Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 36 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about temperature, thermal expansion, ideal gas law. So in this one, we can see we have the ideal gas in the storage tank. And this mass for this nitrogen gas is given at zero. The initial pressure is given P1. In this way, we can find the wave, the more number N1. Do you agree? Because the mass is given and it's nitrogen, so the number is 28 at zero. You can check your test book. And then we know if this nitrogen is replaced by the equal mass of carbon dioxide at the same temperature, ask Q to find the pressure. So we need to find P2. And this time we know the mass is constant, so we can get the more number N2 as a mass divided by carbon dioxide 44, right? Now, next one, how can you find the pressure we consider ideal gas law? PV equal to NTR. So in this function, we can convert to this one, PV, P over V equal to T times R divided by V, right? As there, the T is temperature, but it tell us this is same temperature, so temperature constant. R is a constant. V is constant. Volumes for the tank is uh, fixed. So now we can think P over N equal to a constant. Therefore, the initial state P1 over N1 equal to final state P2 over N2, right? From this function, we can get the function for P2. We can say P1 over N2. P1 times N2 over N1, and this is the ratio N2 over N1, right? So now you input known quantities, get the answer is there. Thank you.